Hello, this is Dr. Ashish Jha, and you are watching The Dominic Natty Show. What is different in the Delta variant, and what can we expect to see happen in the coming months? It is way more contagious than any version of the virus we have seen before. I mean, this version of the virus is more contagious uh, than chickenpox. Uh, it's more contagious than Ebola. It's more contagious than the Spanish flu that caused the 1918 pandemic. Just two months ago, the yep. CDC said that if you have been vaccinated, then you no longer need to wear a mask. Yep. And now Tuesday, just three days ago, they yeah. said that vaccinated people need to put the masks back on. So, so what is this vaccine actually preventing if, yep. if the masks are coming back on now? What we're learning is with the Delta variant, with this very, very dangerous variant, uh, the vaccines are still awesome. They still prevent you from getting infected, not 100%, but an 80 to 90% protection against getting infected. But more importantly, Dominic, they, what they do, what these vaccines do, is they like make getting hospitalized and dying almost like a non-event. Doesn't, doesn't happen to vaccinated people. It's awesome in preventing severe illness. So then you're like, well, okay, that all sounds really good. So why do I have to wear a mask? And you don't have to wear a mask if you're fully vaccinated. But what CDC says is, look, if you're in an area in a hot zone with lots and lots of infections out there, you may want to wear a mask because what will happen is if you don't, you're going to have a breakthrough infection. Somebody who's unvaccinated is going to cough on you, is going to, you're going to breathe in air, and you may have a breakthrough infection. Now, it won't kill you, won't land you in the hospital, uh, but it may make you feel kind of crummy for a few days, and it's not great. So they're recommending that in the hot zones in the U.S., people who are vaccinated consider wearing a mask. How many cases have you heard of vaccinated people that have contracted COVID even though they're vaccinated? That's happening with a bit more frequency. So the way I think about it is it's about, you know, one-tenth as much as people who are unvaccinated. So if every day 60, 70,000 Americans are getting infected, five or 6,000 of those are probably vaccinated people, maybe four or 5,000. In, in March of 2020, in an interview with 60 Minutes, Dr. Fauci said that there is no reason to be walking around with a mask. It's not providing uh, the protection that, that people think it is. Later, he completely changed his stance and told us that masks will save your life. So is the takeaway here that in the early stages, leading experts like Dr. Fauci and yourself uh, like don't really know how to prevent the spread of a new virus? Is, yeah. that, is that how you would explain that? And I think what we probably should have done is been more clear with people that we really just don't know for sure. We're, we're guessing based on a close cousin virus and how it acts. But when we learned that this virus spreads in people who don't have symptoms, then it became really clear that you have to be wearing a mask if you're not vaccinated. Is it really experts? I mean, I guess that's the frustration from the yeah, general yeah. public is that, you know, it, it's like, well, how do you know? I mean, how do people, how does anyone know? And then these people are putting things in place that are affecting our lives. And then they're going, yeah, actually, no, we were wrong. You know, so, I mean, is Dr. Fauci an expert? Or is anyone an expert in this? Yeah, so the way I think about this is Dr. Fauci, by the way, um, is an expert. He's an expert's expert. Like, I have been studying this stuff for a very long time. And I've always looked at Tony Fauci as, like, the guy who really understands this stuff. Hand sanitizer and social distancing. Are, are these things wrong? Do they do nothing? Like, what has the CDC gotten wrong from the beginning that you're like, okay, this was incorrect. Yeah, I think, I'll tell you where I think the biggest drop of the ball was. Um, this virus is spread through the air. It's spread when people um, share the air together, right? So I'm infected and I, let's say I'm like spewing out the virus in, in the air. You walk into that room, you have a chance of breathing it in. It's not spread by surfaces. The CDC way overemphasized what we call sort of surface cleaning, you know, the deep cleaning, the stuff they've said about, about playgrounds, like, oh, playgrounds are dangerous. Playgrounds are not dangerous. Playgrounds are great. I think we have been, we've gotten a lot of stuff wrong on kids. We have put in way too many restrictions on kids. Kids need to be out there. They need to be playing. It's very, very low risk for them to get infected. And even if they get infected, they're going to do very well. I think there's been way too much emphasis on how to, how to prevent this infection in the wrong ways for kids. Are you expecting a spike in unvaccinated American Olympic athletes when they return from Tokyo? Uh, the, you know, there's a massive outbreak happening in Japan. So I am worried that a lot of the unvaccinated athletes may pick up the infection, may have gotten it. 
uh, or may end up uh, having problems with the infection when they come back. Give me a comparison of how President Trump handled COVID versus President Biden. Like, what did you think that each president got right and wrong? Um, the Trump administration didn't do probably enough to kind of plan out how are the vaccines actually going to get delivered into arms. The Biden administration has done a great, great job of getting the vaccines and getting it out, making it easily available. Uh, and they deserve an enormous amount of credit for that. So even on the vaccine front, I think that both both parties, both presidents deserve a lot of credit. All right. Now, do you recommend wearing a mask while having sex with strangers? All right. I, I, I think we're getting out of my area of expertise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What I always do is preach that people should have safe sex and you can decide how that, what that is. <laughs> well, a mask can be part of safe sex. Hey, Where Dominic, yeah. I, I, I'm a, I gotta get back to uh, some patient's care stuff that I'm, I'm working on. Sorry, I'm gonna jump off.